Okay, so today you are going to talk about, or actually you're going to watch a short video and take notes on Mercury and Venus. So over the next couple of days, you're basically going to do two planets a night. Um, that's why your page is set up the way it is. So you'll go to your notes that you've already taken over how the solar system is arranged um, and just take the notes next to Mercury and then the uh, notes next to Venus. And I'll show you what that looks like at the end so that you can double check that you've done it correctly. Here I am on the planet that's closest to the sun, Mercury. And because you're so close... Okay, so here's where your notes come from. If you look right here, um, every planet except for Earth has a box that has everything about it. And then you will hear um, him talk about it and get to see some, some visuals of it. So when the box comes up, you'll want to pause the video and um, take the notes on it. It's pretty hot here. It has a rocky surface that's filled with a lot of craters. And every single crater on here actually has a name. But did you guys know that this is the smallest of the eight planets in our solar system? Let's take a look and see exactly how small it is compared to the other ones. Okay, so I want to draw your attention real quick. Um, obviously the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth. What do you think this is? Hopefully you said the Moon. Uh, Mars, and then Jupiter and Saturn. Um, realize that this is not how they are situated in the solar system. Um, here, just so you can see it all in one frame, they have them um, spread out pretty evenly, but they are not spread out evenly like that. Wow, Mercury really is a tiny planet. Who you call a tada? Sorry, Mercury, didn't mean anything by it, but technically you are the smallest planet. Pluto used to be the smallest planet, now I am. I feel so small. It's not too bad, Mercury. You're still a pretty interesting planet. Yeah, well, at least I'm still probably the hottest planet, because I'm closest to the sun. Uh, sorry, Mercury. Venus is actually the hottest planet. There's gotta be something cool about me, then. You're filled with more craters than any other planet in our solar system. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And all the craters on me are named after famous... Writers and artists like John Lennon of the Beatles or Edgar Allan Poe. I got tons of craters, man. Wow, that's pretty cool. They should name a crater after barbecue spare ribs. Um... I mean, they're not a famous writer or artist, but they're delicious. Okay, you're being weird now, Mercury. Or maybe sour cream and onion potato chips. Shouldn't we be talking about the planets? It's a good thing Venus isn't made out of sour cream and onion potato chips. Because if it was, I think I'd eat the whole entire planet. Here I am on the second closest planet to the sun, Venus. Now, Venus was one of those inner planets that we talked about earlier, so it's solid. But I'll tell you what, guys. It's even hotter here than it was on Mercury. I wonder why that is. Uh-oh. Uh do you guys hear that? You stop right there. I didn't even say anything. Stop. Right. There. Calm down, man. I just have a few questions. Oh. Then why don't you say anything, old chap? I'm Venus. Nice to meet you. Wow. Okay, that was weird. But, um, Venus. You're the second closest planet to the sun, but why are you hotter than Mercury? Well, it's simple, mate. You see, my atmosphere is mostly made up of carbon dioxide, and I've got thick clouds. And those thick clouds trap the heat inside, so it gets really hot here. You know, I was just on Mercury, and that planet has a lot of craters, yet you don't. Why is that? Well, you know those meteors that do crash into Mercury? They can't crash into me, because my thick atmosphere actually burns them all up. And the ones that do hit me, 
are actually covered in lava flow. Whoa, I heard the word lava flow. Does that mean you have volcanoes? Yeah, mate. There's more volcanoes on Venus than any other planet in the solar system. Some scientists even think that there's more than one million volcanoes on me. Wow, that's pretty cool. What do you say we go to the next planet before we melt? Ah, now here we are on my favorite planet. Okay, so when you look at your notes, um, I, you have your notes from the other day uh, over the solar system, and then you have your notes over Mercury and Venus. And then, like I said, you'll have two planets for the next couple of days, I guess three more days. Um, so at this point, your notes should include the information on Mercury and Venus.